Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Mallikarjun Kalashetti. I am a consultant clinical hematologist, hemato-oncologist and blood and bone marrow transplant physician at uh, Manipal Hospital, Old Airport, Bangalore. So, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is a very intense medical procedure. Uh, it can have both short-term and long-term adverse events. The short-term adverse events uh, typically are patient uh, initially may have nausea, vomiting, they may have mouth sores, they may have extreme fatigue because of the conditioning chemotherapy that they receive. They can also have uh, diarrheal episodes and uh, uh, so, some patients may have severe infections because the blood counts uh, go very low. So some of the immune cells like neutrophils, uh, the, the cells like platelets can become extremely low. So oftentimes they also would need many blood product support during the transplantation. So, so these are some of the common uh, acute uh, side effects that one may have. In the long term, uh, they can also have effects on the various organ systems. So women may have early menopause, there can be infertility, there can be issues with, uh, with, with uh, lung function. And uh, apart from all of this, one other serious adverse event which, which we see in, in halogenic bone marrow transplantation is what is called as Kraft versus host disease. So though we do uh, an adequate or optimal HLA typing before and take the best available donor, so about 20 to 30% of individuals who undergo uh, an halogenic stem cell transplantation can develop uh, acute and or chronic Kraft versus host disease, uh, which, um, which in majority of the cases is, is well treated with immunosuppression medications, but rarely can can become a crippling disease itself and and, and uh, quite rarely it can also be life-threatening so these are some of the uh, common side uh, effects or the adverse events that we see in, in, in transplantation so atypical infection immune effects uh, some of those could also be uh, affecting the quality of life of patient in the in the short term